Okay, welcome to Venture Du Lull. We're back here at Fallsburg. We met up with the Historical Society with Craig Funger. And we're uh, turning in the, the finds that we found that went to the bridge at some point in time, probably originally, or even the bridge prior to the covered bridge that's here. Yeah, this spike right here uh, looks like something that would have been with one of the previous structures that was here. It'll be interesting to find out more about this. These three look like something that was on that bridge at one time, but I, I would say it, 1945 when it was renovated or 1990 when it was renovated, the spikes probably came off uh, from there. There are similar spikes on the bridge right now. Uh, so, and then this one looks relatively new and uh, I don't know, this must have just fallen in yeah, by accident when they were working else. on it. Yeah, extra parts. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate that, yeah. uh, the fact that you uh, have given those to us. Yeah, I don't know if you want to explain any kind of history on the bridge at all, or? Well, uh, we'll be uh, celebrating our 150th sesquicentennial anniversary this year. Uh, so in 1871, this bridge was built and it's a hundred feet span across the river. There's a five dollar fine if you go over crawl speed on there. Yeah. Um, it's a brown truss bridge and that's a certain style of architecture and engineering that the trusses are configured in a certain way to help distribute the forces across the bridge. Historical land marker. You can kind of see it through the trees there. There's the Fallsburg powerhouse with the massive water tubes in the hydro dam. Move down a little bit closer here. Kind of see down in the corner there where the water's coming out. Yeah, I had been in there one time. It's just amazing how simple it looks. And it is. It just it's water turning a wheel to make power. And it is just elegantly simple. And there's a lot of old fixtures from when it was originally built. Uh, around 1920. It was renovated around 1984 and put back into service. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Here's the top of the powerhouse. So they got the creek running in. Generate the power there. Let's see if we can get a little better view here. If I can get this to go up. That way we don't have to look through a fence. And there's the powerhouse down there. And you can see the flat river there in the background. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's those ripples in the water there, and that's where the dam was. And there's the hold is this bridge. This is relatively new. This is maybe about 20 years old. There was a one lane uh, cantilever bridge over this. Okay. Um, yeah, and that got replaced, as I say, 20, 25 years ago, maybe. Yeah, this was more uh, 
for the steel bridge at one time, the deck and everything. Okay. No, that was probably an old cobblestone uh, dam. Yeah. Probably. And this is probably where they had it. Yeah, their power coming in is at right here. Yeah, they still got the current going. Yep. Basically.